famous professor once said, computer science is no more about computers than astronomy is about telescopes. But if it's not about the computers, what is programming about? I want to change how you think about computers and software by giving you three strange definitions of computer programming. Definition number one, computer programming is the act of designing complex patterns of energy that affect the world. In 1936, the greatest engineering achievement was the Hoover Dam. Parents dragged their kids to see it and it turned some of them into structural engineers. The greatest engineering achievement of 1970 was the FAA's flight control system. No parents dragged their kids to see that because it was an invisible pattern of energy, software. Isaac Newton pointed out that light is invisible energy. Light itself has no color. Color is something that happens in your brain. And I am pointing out that all the abstractions we build up around software are likewise for the benefit of our brain. The computer only knows patterns of energy. So programmers sit and think and design patterns of energy that go into computers and thereby affect the world, and that is magical. Arthur C. Clarke said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, but what I'm saying is the magic of computer programming has been lost on its practitioners. Programming represents the most direct manipulation of the world via thought ever seen. My second definition comes from philosopher Andy Clark. He argues it is a literal and scientific truth that mind is something that extends outside your skull to include the tools you use to think. Example, the biographer of physicist Richard Feynman comes to him with notes and sketches and says, look, I found a record of your work. Feynman says, actually, I did the work on the paper. The biographer says, well, you did the work in your head, and this is the record. And Feynman says, no, it's not a record, not really. It is working. You have to work on paper, and this is the paper. Feynman could not solve those problems with just his brain, but he could solve them with his mind, which extended outside his skull to include pencil and paper. Technology like pencil and paper represents a wetware upgrade to the mind, giving us capabilities we didn't have before. And software is the most powerful wetware upgrade in human history. With writing, I can give you a description of how to do something. But with software, I can give you the actual doing. I can effectively give you a piece of my mind. Definition number two, computer programming is the transfer of intelligence from inside the skull to the extended mind. My third definition comes from evolution, which, like software, can be viewed in terms of energy. By taking in structured energy and emitting a waste stream of less structured energy, life can create complexity without violating the rule that, on average, entropy is still winning. For single-celled organisms to become multi-celled organisms, they had to evolve to create, transmit, and receive structured energy in the form of proteins. And now, programmers are creating, transmitting, and receiving structured energy in the form of software. So much so that we are now witnessing the birth of a worldwide neo-religion called the open source movement based on little more than a belief in the free exchange of structured energy. Definition number three, computer programming is the latest step in evolution's drive toward ever more highly structured energy. <laughs> is it possible programming reflects something even deeper than evolution? In the 1940s, when Claude Shannon was founding the field of information theory, he didn't initially realize that one of the laws he uncovered was analogous to a law of thermodynamics. Why should the rules for using computer ones and zeros to send messages have anything to do with the rules for particles of gas? Later, Nobel physicist John Wheeler would argue that when you look at nature as closely as our most powerful instruments allow, Reality is nothing more than a series of answers to binary questions. Yes, no questions. Is the particle at this position or not? Is the spin up or down? There is a growing movement to reinterpret physics in terms of information theory, in terms of ones and zeros. And some physicists argue that the universe itself is effectively a quantum computer. So just as art imitates life, Computer programming is imitating the fundamental fabric of reality. If you take all these ideas to their logical extreme, you arrive at my final thought. Computer programming is not a product of the human mind. It's a product of the mind of the universe. My name is Ron Burke. I am writing The Pop Psychology of Programming. Thank you.